What supports and resources do community partners need? Starting to work with a community partner can be exciting and rewarding, and also full of important details that must be arranged to ensure everything will run smoothly. Addressing the fine points of the project is essential, including answering important questions such as, what will the student do? Where and when will it take place? How will we ensure security, health, and safety? What training does the student need? What should they wear? What other policies do they need to follow? And more importantly, how do we ensure that the EL experience is aligned with the course learning outcomes? Gathering thorough information from the community partner or employer will help determine what is needed to set students up for success. Understanding the larger elements of the EL project, such as logistics and the nature of the work, is a good start. But having details of specific requirements, supplies needed, and expectations will help students and community partners be prepared mentally and physically for EL. We choose which courses will have um, course-based research projects in them um, a couple of ways. First of all, um, the needs of the company. And um, if a company defines a need, then somebody who works in Niagara Research and Innovation will sort of will touch base with the associate dean for the area and talk about the need and see if there's any good fit with the particular course. Well, from the student perspective, sometimes not being aware of the occupation that they're entering into can set unreasonable expectations for them. We try to manage those the best we can. That's why having that job description, working through that project overview statement's important for them so that they understand what they're going to be doing and what they're not going to be doing. Uh, the better they can do that, I think the better we can manage expectations for them. And I think the, the return customers are the ones that we work with best and those are the ones where the projects have gone smoothly. We. You know, you occasionally run into instances where an employer doesn't fully understand or uh, doesn't adequately give thought to the project that they'd like the students to work on. Uh, so those, I think, create challenges for us. Uh, working with new industry partners can, the first time through, can be a, a bit of a learning curve for everyone involved. So there's always a bit more, I think, effort involved in creating and fostering those new relationships. Um, but for the most part, I think the, the benefits far away the challenges that we've faced. So that's the first stage and we do the interviews, we have them fill out an application form and we find clients that are uh, suitable for both our program um, and for the students. So there's two wins here um, in this and, and this is when I have my conversations with um, the prospective clients and I let them know that there's two wins here. One is for them because they're getting a free website and the other is for the students. But I really stress to them that it's more about the students uh, getting that experience with a real world client than them getting a free website. It's just a more of a bonus for them. Um, so once we sift through the interviews and we pick, um, depending on the amount of students we have, anywhere from usually five to seven clients per term, um, we send out um, more information to the clients so we can collect some information and then I compile a lot of information um, and make a brief for the student groups.